okay so now we will add the game over function so when the user touches the obstacle then we will end the game right there so for that in the UI we will add a panel and we will name this as game over and now select the canvas and right here change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size so we want to scale it with the screen size so right here the x value will be 1600 and the y value will be 900 now let's create a image under the game over panel so in the UI select this image and let's change it name to game over panel and right here we will drag and drop this menu background to the source image and now let's just scale it to the panel so select this one the react tool and simply just do this and that's it let's add a text right down below this game over panel so in the ui select this text and we will name it as game over text now select it so it is right here and we will change the text to game over the color will be white as you can see and change the font size to let's just say 60 or let's change it to Fourteen, and let me move this right here at the top because we want to show this text at the top and also let's just change its width and height also we want to show this on the center and now let's change it on size to let's change it to 60 let me just increase the height to 200 font size let's change now it. we will add a button under this game over panel so go to ui then button and we will name this as restart game button and you can add a text right here but i don't want to add any text so i will delete the text now select the restart game button and drag and drop this restart button right here in the source image let me change it width to 400 and its height to 300 so let's just do it 350 also let's just move it to the center and that's it after this select this game over and let's just uncheck it now what we will do now let's just open up the obstacle script and right here we will add a else if block and inside the else if block we will say if the collision dot tag is equals to player then what we will do we will say destroy player dot game object and now we need to declare this player right here in the start so we will say player equals to game object then dot find game object with tag and the tag will be this player tag declare the player variable so right here type private game object then name it as player now get back to unity and as you can see there it is now gone now we will create another c sharp script by the name of game over and let's just open it up in the visual studio and right here we will remove the start function and right here we will create a private game object by the name of game over panel then inside the update what we will do we will say if game object dot find game object with tag and the tag will be player 
and if that is equals to null okay then what we will do we will say game over panel dot set state and we will set the state to true and after this after this uh, update we will add another function by the name of restart and inside this restart function we will say scene manager dot load and we will simply load the scene again so for that inside this brackets we will type scene manager dot get active screen dot name now let's just save it get back to unity and let's assign the game over script to the game manager and it shows this so let's just go back and we need to add the scene management right here so type using unity engine dot scene management now save it and now this screen manager issue will be solved as you can see now let's just assign this game over to this game over panel okay select this game manager and just drag this from here and drop it inside this game over panel and we want to call the restart function when the user click on the button so select this uh, restart game button and right here click on this plus then select the function but it didn't show that so let's just drag this game manager right here and after this click on this then inside the game over we have this restart function so select it and also click on this player and change it tag to player and now let's just test it out so this is the obstacle and when we hit it it shows us the game over screen